Thank you, everybody, for joining us back here at Pressure Biosciences Channel. We're sitting here once again with Director of Sales and Marketing, John Hollister. And John, we're halfway through 2022, man. It seems like it's sped by, but Pressure Bio has been up to a lot of interesting things. How are you and are you ready to get into them? Yep, we're on. Uh, thanks, Michael, one, for uh, having us on and give, letting us give a chance to give you an update. Uh, things have gone great. We've been working hard, uh, getting some sales this year. But really excited about the development of UST and moving forward and what that means for the second half of this year. Yeah, perfect. I feel like we should touch on the most pertinent thing, something that just went through yesterday. You guys announced contracted production launch for estimated $3 million of ultra shear technology processed nano emulsified CBD spray for oral use. So this is something we've been talking about was coming for a long time, and now it's finally kicking in. Should people expect to see more of this? And can you break down what this really means for the company? Absolutely. Happy to do so. And, and yes, we're going to see a lot more of it. Uh, we're finally in a position that we can use this technology that we've been de developing, uh, ultra shear technology, UST, making oil and water mix into a nano emulsion. Uh, and the first customer uh, we actually put out a press release yesterday is Safer Medical of Montana. We've locked down the formulation. We put out a press release about a month ago saying that this was coming. And in the last month, we locked down the, for the formulation for the first product. And uh, within uh, the next uh, couple of months, uh, we will actually be on the market with a spray, 40 milligrams per uh, milliliter spray concentration of CBD, very pure product with a little blackberry flavoring. It's an oral spray. And very excited to work with, with uh, Captain George Ackerson of Safer Medical. He's a Vietnam vet who really wants to give back to his uh, colleagues, his teammates, his veteran partners uh, to address uh, many of the issues that they uh, come back with. And, and he's believed in this in a long time. And he's going to work with some nurses who reach out to the veterans, uh, as well as reach out to the Veteran Administration to uh, bring this product to them. Very excited. Uh, importantly, uh, we've actually tiered uh, three different production runs for the next year, and hopefully we do more. Uh, but it amounts to $3 million in uh, over $3 million in gross revenues, of which the company will realize about uh, somewhere just over a $1 million, or 33% uh, of gross sales, which is uh, very attractive to us and exciting on our path to being uh, uh, uplisting and doing the other things that we've shared publicly. Perfect. Yeah, we, we actually have a video with Safer Medical Montana. I recommend if you if no if someone watches has not heard of it, we recommend you watch that video because it's a very, very interesting story. It's something everyone should be aware of. But John, sounds like Pressure Bios kicking in full gear right now, full steam going forward for the rest of 2022. So what are you personally, yourself, most excited about? Just give us a personal point. Well, you know, UST presents an opportunity for us to get into really consumer-focused products and consumers both in the nutraceutical CBD area, but, but also in cosmetics. And hopefully we will be announcing before too long uh, a really tremendous opportunity in that space. Uh, in the ag chem business, uh, we hope to be able to share a little more in that. And then a little further downstream, it's pharmaceuticals uh, because... Uh, there are many companies that are looking to uh, adapt older medications and make them more absorbable, which is, remember, this is, this, this is what nano emulsions do. We cut uh, oil-based products, mix them with water, and cut them down to particle sizes. They're around 45 nanometers, and it can be 20 nanometers or 100 nanometers, whatever is the most optimal. But at that size, which is really, really small, it gets absorbed. It has uh, through across the skin, it gets absorbed uh, in all sorts of different areas, whether it's in the mouth or through the gut, much more effectively than the natural oil product. Mm -hmm. And this is a, an issue that is uh, commonplace with nutraceuticals, yeah. any of the essential oils are that way. Uh, certainly CBD suffers from that. And I think we discussed it before, but an example of it is with uh, you and I, we might, might uh, ingest a CBD caplet, you know, a capsule or a, a, a gel cap. And uh, if you had 20 milligrams and I had 20 milligrams, uh, I might get a full dose of maybe four milligrams of that would be absorbed, but that would be a full dose 
a dose and you might only get one milligram or on better numbers, but if it was a hundred milligrams in that cap, I might uh, experience 20 milligrams and you would only experience four milligrams mm -hmm. and neither of us might be satisfied with that. Yeah. With yeah. a nano emulse product, you get a hundred percent absorption. And so the patient or the customer gets a full dose of what they expect. And, and that's much more predictable and that's what you want to do. So obviously in the pharmaceutical world, if you can do the same thing, there are real advantages. So we look forward and I do on a personal level of challenging myself and the team to say, how many places can we go and how many customers can we enlist and uh, recruit in the next year? Wonderful. Yeah. I mean, when, when you really break it down and you, you really think about this and all the different paths you guys could go forward with this technology, there's a, there's a lot of things that are really promising. And I look forward to seeing how these will, will continue to play out over the course of the rest of this year and, of course, into 2023. So we hope everybody here watching follows us along for that journey as well. And if right. you have any questions about any of it, don't be afraid to reach out. And we'll happily answer them. But, John, what should we leave people with today before we go? Well, so we are entering, uh, you know, the, the, the best message is we are entering into revenue generation mode now. And that's really important for us to lift the company, generate significant sales. And here's the first example of a, you know, a, a smaller, more modest company uh, doing a really good, uh, the mission is good, but is an example of the power of the revenue of UST and what it can do for PBIO is really help us move the top line and the bottom line uh, towards profitability, which we hope to achieve by the end of next year. Perfect. Well, John, thank you for coming on. First half of 2022 is done, everybody. Let's look forward to an exciting second half. John, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everybody watching, and have a wonderful day. Happy 4th. Thanks, Michael. Thank you.